Open source software is a very polarizing word in the development community. On the one hand, we have people that contribute to open source every day and all they do is work on open source projects. And on the other hand, especially in business, we have people that work on code in private and keep it to themselves. However, what's quite interesting is that we have a lot of people shifting towards private code because of certain wrong beliefs when it comes to open source. And because I work at a startup that open sources their software and I'm about to open source all of my software, I felt like making this video to convince anyone that open source is actually quite a good option. And hopefully by the end of this video, um, I'll convince a couple of you guys because this is an awesome stream to go by and it's, you'll see, it's, it's quite good. And so the first main belief that people have when it comes to open sourcing your software is that you can't monetize your app. And you know, I used to believe this, but if you think about it, why does software have to be free if the code is public. Like just because the code can be seen by a bunch of people doesn't mean you have to charge nothing for it. And it'll lead to our second reason in a second, but just this belief is kind of dumb because not all our audience and not everyone we're selling to is going to be developers. And look, I understand if your application is geared towards developers and you're afraid that the developer himself can just take that code, build it on their own, and then you know not pay for your application. But if you're making like a streaming app or like a therapy application, there's already stuff open sourced and there's a lot of people that already open source that type of thing and the code's already available. So what's the point in doing it if you're just gonna make the same money anyways? And shifting your focus from one of someone's gonna steal my code towards someone will see my code but it's gonna be beneficial to me because in the long term, it's gonna to lead to better software will lead to a better outcome in my opinion. And this is especially true if you don't have a lot of funding and that's our second reason. And you know, it's a developer's dream to get funding from a venture capitalist and to have that money available to make your software better. But let's be honest, for most of us, we're just not gonna get that, especially earlier on in our development phase. And in my opinion, Open source is the second best option. You see, when I made my app public, I got the benefit of employees and the help that I would have got if I got funding without getting that in the first place because I got contributions from the open source community. I think in my main project, I have like over 10 contributors and like three people that are just consistently helping me with making the software better. And we're averaging like thousands of users per month, which is awesome. And that came from no funding at all. And another reason why I am open sourcing all my software and why I think uh, you should too, is that you just get a access to more people in general. Having that open source tag not only intrigues your initial customers, like let's say you're making a therapy app, which I'm hinting towards for my next application, but let's say you're making that therapy app. Not only will you garner the attention of people seeking out therapeutic help, but you're also getting the attention of programmers. And if our goals as programmers is to help a certain demographic with our software, if we don't open source your software, you're doing a huge disservice to the people you're trying to help because you won't be able to help as many people if you don't have enough programmers and help in the first place. And by having that help without the funding, obviously you will be able to build better software, help more people, and hopefully in the long run, make more money. And so yeah, uh, I'm in the position now where obviously you don't have to listen to this advice. I'm just someone with a microphone talking to the camera. You're obviously entitled to your own opinion, but I'm just speaking off the top of my mind. I used to be super against open source. I thought that, you know, everything had to be private, but honestly, why not, right? I know in some cases you wanna make it private if it's a very specific business and it's very competitive, but for a lot of us, we don't really have to do that, right? Like we can open source, we were able to afford it. There's other avenues of profitability. And it's quite dumb to think in one way and thinking that like, you know, someone's gonna steal it. It's, it's, it's like, so what? Anyone can rebuild your application. It's not that difficult, right? And so yeah, I'll be talking about my new software application in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. And uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It honestly really, really go a long way. And if you like this video and you, you know, like this type of content, I have a Discord channel with like over a thousand developers. So if you wanna join a community of individuals like yourself, then uh, I'll leave that down below. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.